welcome to its traffic as many of you have requested for the solution of the model question paper so here are the answers at first mcq i have already written the answers so you can see it from the screen you can pause the screen and you can see now number two fill in the blanks if we want to access the cat element in an array we will use the where the num is the name of the array it means when we want to access the elements of an array always the index is the size uh, whatever element we want to access it's minus one so if we want to access the cat element so it will be num in square bracket k minus one so this will be the answer and when our function does not return anything it is said void and in Windows 10, if you want to change the host name, there is an option that is a rename PC. You can click on rename PC, PC and you can change the name of the computer. And uh, if you want to temporarily exit from any loop, you can use break statement. And if you want to sp skip a particular part from a loop, then you can use continue, which you already got in class 9. And the name of the array is also known as base address of the array and here are for true and false answers you can read from the screen now one mark answer what do you mean by capacity of an array the number of elements that we can store inside an array is called as capacity of the array who provide OUI hard to hardware manufacturers IEEE registration authority committee provides OUI to the hardware manufacturers what is a router a router is a networking device that connect two or more heterogeneous network which command is used to display the IP address and their corresponding MAC addresses it is ARP then days A if you write a uh, IP config then this command will display only the IP addresses if you want along with the MAC addresses you should type ARP then one space after that this A what is a loop the definition is here then what are the parts of for loop initialization expression condition checking and update expression they are the main parts of a for loop write the syntax to declare a function that accept date of birth and present date and return the A so is it will be definitely integer type that's why int then the function name after that within bracket we are passing to integer variable int dob and int present date and after that semicolon write the syntax to declare an integer array which can store 10 values 10 values it will store and the type is integer so int and after that name of the array and within square bracket size is 10 and if it the name of the array is given then you can write instead of name of the array that particular name define recursion function if a function call itself it is called recursive or recursion function then write the signature of do while loop first we will write do then curly braces after that statement then update expression and after the bracket while then inside bracket condition and semicolon how can you access the fifth element of an array the name of the array is num so we will write num within square bracket 4 how can you identify a computer on a network we can identify a computer on a network by host name ip addresses or mac address the most unique way to find the computer is mac address because sometimes two computers host name can be same and sometimes even ip addresses can be same give two valid example of ip when you are giving example for ip address one thing remember the range of the ip should ip addresses should be from 0 to 255 and it should be grouped in four num numbers separated uh, by period by dot like 192 it is one group 168 it is another group one it is another and the last one one more group it should not be more than 255 if you are right if you are writing a um, number which is greater than 255 then it will be invalid ip address even if you are keeping three periods or five periods then also it may be invalid how many 16 port switches are required to connect 48 computers in a network all the switches also should be connected among themselves now there are 48 computers 
and also we have to connect the switches to each other suppose from switch 1 switch 1 to switch 2 we have to connect means both uh, two ports already reserved for that person uh, purpose and from switch 2 to switch 3 also it should be connected again for that we need another two ports reserved means the four number uh, four ports will be reserved for connection between them so total number will be our 48 plus 4 it's 52 now divide 52 by 16 how much we'll get we'll get 3 point something so we need total 4 switches because the remaining computers uh, remaining 4 ports that also have to be connected that's why we need one more switch so total we need 4, four switches only 3 if we buy only 3 switches then we may not do connection between within the switches Rahul want to create a loop that can execute as long as the user wants what type of loop so for this purposes when we want to learn a loop as long as we want we can use do while what happened if we forgot to write the increment or decrement type of loop what happened when we don't write the increment part the condition will be always remain true and the loop will run for infinite time so Priya wants to store multiple values just one variable how can she do that she can use array to store multiple values inside just one variable answer the following what are the different types of loop while loop do while loop and for loop and the difference between LAN and MAN LAN connect the computer within small geographical area for example school computer lab MAN connect the computer within a large geographical area for example you can write cable TV and the main ownership is always private like they are owned by schools colleges it's totally private the school will not allow other person to access them but men's ownership may be private or sometimes maybe it's public also why do you why uh, why do we use while loop we use while loop to execute we use do while loop to execute the statement of a loop at least once even if the condition is false what are the limitation of array we cannot store different type of data inside an array and the size of array is fixed if we want to store more variable during the runtime it will we will not able to do so inside an array what is nested loop it is an when we write a loop inside a loop it is called nested loop for example when we have to use a uh, multiple similar type of loop to solve a problem at that situation we can write the similar loop inside a loop and we can reduce the size of the program when we use nested loop we reduce the size of the program and we make our program more reliable and more faster can we store both integer and float no we cannot store because array can store only one type of information so if we try to store it it will return us error that uh, invalid type when we call a function user defined is printf is a user defined function when we write the definition of a function it is called user defined printf is not a user defined it is a library function because we do not write the definition for printf it is already written inside stdio.h file that's why it is library function different component of a function function declaration function call and function definition what is a global variable a variable which is declared outside the main function or any other function it is known as global variable and the global variable can be accessed by any other functions and it can be modified and read by any other function so this is advantage of global variable but local variable which is de declared inside a function that can be accessed only by that particular function only what is a protocol the well established rules that determine uh, communication between two computers is known protocol and protocol to sending and receiving email are smtp this is for sending and pop3 this is for receiving and IMAP it is for both sending and receiving man send the components of a man and draw the diagram it's already I have done in chapter 1 video you can refer to that video I'll give the link in description you can see it from there write a C program to continuously take in a number as an input and announce whether it is odd or even so I have written this one first include stdio that is header file is necessary then main function after it two variable one num and another choice equal one and here I am using do while loop because do while is 
useful when we write this type of program do then print f enter a number scan f percent d we are storing it num and after that we are dividing the value of num by 2 and printing even if it is divisible by 2 and printing odd if it is not after that one more line we are printing that press 0 to exit any other to continue and we will store the value in choice variable and we will write the condition as while choice not equal to 0 means if the choice is not 0 then program will continue if the user enters 0 then program will stop and at last return 0 so this is the program for that now write a C program to store your mother's name and your name and your mother's name in two different strings display them as one after another here we have declared two string two character variable as an array like name maximum size i gave is 20 mother name maximum size i gave is 20 and printf by using gets function we read the name and mother name and to use the gets function we need also string dot h that particular header file if we don't use string dot h then these two functions we cannot use gets and puts and after reading the name we will again write printf name after that puts by using puts we will just display the name and after that mother name again by using puts just display the mother name and at last return 0 Liter uh, difference between caller and call the function which call another function it is caller function like main function when main function call another function the main function will be caller function and the function which is called by any other function this is calling for example when the main function calls some function to do some specific task it is call function here in call function i have forget to give the semicolon so please write it number e write a strategy to find the summation of all the even numbers stored inside an array strategy also we can say is algorithm or steps that we follow while solving a problem first if we write proper strategy for this the strategy will be too long so i have just writing the summary or in short first we will declare an integer type of uh, array with capacity 10 and we will accept the value from the user after that we will take also a we will declare also a variable which is name will be sum and we will initialize the variable as 0 means int, int sum equal 0 after that we will divide the elements of the array by 2 and check if it is divisible we will store it we will add the value to the sum variable like sum is already 1 if the first number was 2 it will add it to the sum it will be 0 plus 2 it is 2 and if it is not divisible then we will just skip it and after that adding all the numbers will display the value of sum so program will be like that include stdio.h this is header file then int min then one array int num 10 after that i and sum equals 0 and we are using for loop to accepting the input and input part everyone know only how we are taking input to the array and after that for again to add the numbers we are using another for loop for i equals 0 i less than 10 i plus plus and we are dividing the number by 2 if num square bracket i modulus 2 equal equal 0 means inside the er element of the array we are dividing it by 2 and if it is divisible then sum equal sum plus num i suppose the first number is 2 then it will be sum equal sum value is already 0 0 plus 2 it is 2 and again it will repeat the program next number it will check and it will do uh, like that it will repeat the same thing again and again and at last will display the value of sum by this printf statement and number f we have to display the following pattern as you can see at first line 1x second line 2x and there are total five number of lines so we are using two variable i and z inside the first loop i equal 1 and less than equal to 5 we are going and inside the inner loop we are writing z equal 1 z less than equal i at first we need 1 so first time i will be 1 only it will display just 1x and second time i value will be 2 so even inside the for loop also the condition will be z less than equal to 2 so we will get 2x and the last time the i value will be 5 even here also z less than equal to 5 so we will get the x for 5 times so this way we can display this pattern triangular pattern in c programming so these are the answers for that model question paper i hope you have understood all the answers and if you have any other questions which you didn't understood and which you didn't find the answers you can write in comment section even you, comment section you can even you can send in telegram we definitely i'll try to solve it
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग सी यू इन ए न्यू वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर एंड बाय